Okay, folks, here's the next one, sodium chloride. When you think of sodium chloride, you're going to think of your table salt. Uh, your table salt is sodium chloride with bonded potassium iodide or, or iodine. Uh, one would think that you get enough sodium chloride. You, most people, or a lot of people don't. I should say most people don't. A lot of people don't. You can get enough sodium chloride by eating a much plant-based food, eating a lot of plant-based foods. There's enough sodium chloride in our plant-based foods and even in our meat products uh, to supply us with our daily requirements. Uh, a lot of people don't recognize that, but what are the... what body systems use sodium chloride? Well, that would be cartilage, bone, the stomach for... Uh, as a part of digestion and normalizing the uh, normalizing or optimizing the function of the uh, lining of the gut, kidneys, and of course it's most responsible for water distribution. And that's why it makes it so easy to identify. So easy, in fact, that I don't even have an after photo. I don't need multiple photos. The one photo is going to tell you all that you need to know. Uh, so let's start with the vanity issues. The vanity issues uh, include dry skin or oily skin. It can be either. In this individual, I actually believe that we have both a sodium chloride deficiency and a sodium phosphate deficiency, which is why I'll probably post these back to back, uh, meaning sodium phosphate and sodium chloride, uh, so that you see it, because she has the hanging skin, uh, which is not a comp typically accompanied by sodium chloride. However, uh, chap lips, not really seeing it here in this individual. Again, you're not going to have all of them. Cellulite, uh, cracked hands, elbows, heels, uh, dry eyes. Doesn't look like she has dry eyes either. Uh, water bloating. So you bloating of the l lower abdomen, the little pouch that people, that women so often like to talk about, uh, can occur as a result of improper water balance. Uh, Hyperhidrosis, meaning that you, you sweat excessively, rough skin, um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, of course, enlarged pores, and most of all, a puffy face. So what we're seeing here is the puffy face. But the big things, the two big things to identify a sodium chloride deficiency are these lines right here. These are called the nasolabial folds. They only occur when you have a puffy face, when the face becomes puffy. This is a sodium chloride deficiency, and it is always accompanied by these enlar this enlargement of pores in the cheeks. Always. So here we know we have a sodium chloride deficiency. I also believe, because the T-zone is active and shiny as well, uh, as I talked about previously, we're seeing some indications of acne on the top of the forehead the hanging skin. I believe there's both sodium chloride and sodium phosphate at play here, but when the puffy cheeks or you know, like the, the puffy face and the enlarged pores are there, the nas nasolabial folds are present and they're, they're deep like this they're deep and it's puffy around them, you have a sodium chloride deficiency. So let's get on to the behaviors of sodium chloride. Believe it or not there's a fair number of them. Um Think about common, what we consider common salt uh, used in our foods today. Have a a deficiency of it has a lot of behavioral issues that are correlated to such a deficiency. Uh, we have stuttering, believe it or not, lack of will, uh, feeling defeated, self pity, chronic or constant nervousness, poor memory always irritable, very impulsive, an inability to process grief. This will accompany, yes, sodium chloride, but also selenium is huge when you're talking about an unhealthy processing of grief, uh, a fear of failure, a lack of courage, and once again, night terrors or nightmares come into play again. So what 
health issues can be uh, correlated to a sodium uh, deficiency. Where you can automatically think of heart palpitations or heart rhythm as well, tachycardia as well. <laughs> Supplementing with uh, sodium chloride will actually prevent mosquitoes from biting you. It's used in many places, in Europe especially, it's used a lot to prevent mosquito bites. Uh, it regulates your blood pressure so you can expect elevated blood pressure or even low blood pressure if you're not getting enough of it. Anemia, mercury poisoning because sodium chloride plays a, a significant role in clearing heavy metals from the body. Not just mercury but most heavy metals because if you have proper water distribution it will be drawn out put into the water under your normal cycling methods of he heavy metals and carried out of the body. Uh, without sodium chloride, it stays put uh, without proper water distribution, which is which requires sodium chloride. Asthma, diarrhea, uh, dual dental ulcers, furnace mouth, which many people may not know a lot about, but it's a burning of the inside of the mouth. I have a few patients with it, and it's not something that's very pleasant. Uh, renal failure, uh, yes, too low of sodium can cause renal failure, yet when you go on a renal diet, they tell you to cut out sodium and severely limit sodium. I treat renal failure with sodium chloride, sodium phosphate, sodium sulfate, and many more. Uh, potassiums you're also supposed to stay away from. Uh, anyway, I won't get into that. Ph phosphates, which is phosphorus, which you're also supposed to stay away from. Pretty much my, I have a formula that I'm going to be careful on what I say because this is going on YouTube as well. I'm just going to stop there. Uh, sorry. Uh, migraine auroras, peptic ulcers will crave salt, of course, because you're lacking it. Uh, will have light sensitivity and very weak joints. Those are the, that is the collective of indications or issues whether it be vanity behavioral or overall health that are correlated with a sodium chloride deficiency so no after photo because it's ir really irrelevant uh, the nasal lab labial folds are very prominent here we're seeing the puffy face and the enlarged pores that's the telltale I don't need to show you people without the, the big deep folds it's quite obvious what's what's going on here that's it for now bye bye